Even though the favicon is a small image, it's really important for your website's brand recognition and it can also affect the amount of traffic that you'll get into your website. I'm Victor from Divmundo.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to add your own custom favicon in WordPress. So the word favicon is short for favorite icon and it has several different names. For example, in the WordPress settings, it's called Site Icon, but it's all the same. The favicon is displayed in several different locations. For example, in your browser tab to the left of the page title. You can see here in my browser that I have the Divimundo favicon, the Google favicon, and the Elegant Themes favicon. But it's not just displayed here. If I go to the Google search results page and search for WordPress, you can actually see that the favicons are displayed to the left of the titles in the search results page. So having a professional and trustworthy favicon will probably increase the click through rate in the Google search results page. So what happens if you don't add your own favicon in WordPress? Well, that depends on your hosting in your WordPress installation, but you will get some kind of generic favicon image. Often you will get just the WordPress logo. Sometimes you will get this gray chrome globe that it's hardly visible when you are running on dark mode, or you will have some cogwheels under construction favicon image. Regardless, this is not unique for your website and it doesn't look professional. So let's fix it. I'm heading over to my WordPress dashboard and from there I'm going to the appearance tab. Now there are two different types of WordPress themes. Most themes are so-called classic themes. We have for example Divi, Astra and Hello Elementor. So if you're using a classic theme and go to the appearance tab, you should see a link to customize. Now if this link isn't there, the reason is probably that you are using a block theme. And one example of a block theme is the 2024 default WordPress theme. And a block theme is utilizing the new WordPress full site editing feature using blocks. Now, since most WordPress sites are using classic themes still, I'm going to show you that process first. And later in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a favicon using a block theme. But for now, I'll go to Appearance and Customize. And this tab might look different depending on the theme you're using, but you should have something called General Settings. So let's click that one first. And in here, you should find the Site Identity tab. And in the bottom, you can see it says Site Icon. And this is exactly the same as Favicon, it's just another word. And as it says in the text here, site icons are what you see in the browser tabs, bookmark bars, and within the WordPress mobile apps. And you can upload one here. And you get some specifics here for the dimensions. It should be at least 512 times 512 pixels. If you don't have a favicon image ready with these dimensions, don't worry. WordPress will help you crop the image to the correct dimensions. So I'll start by clicking the Select Site Icon button, and this will lead me to the WordPress Media Library. And from here, you could either upload a new file here, or you can select one from your media library. And I would recommend that you're using a transparent PNG image or a transparent SVG image, because then you can have this nice round design, the circular that you can see here for Divimundo and Google and Elegant Themes. If you're using, for example, a JPEG, you cannot have a transparent background and then you will have this square format. Okay, so now I can either choose an image like this that's already 512 times 512 pixels because I made it like this before, or I can take my site logo just as long as it's bigger than 512 times 512 pixels and I can click select. And since my image didn't have the correct dimensions, I will have this option to crop it. And WordPress has already made it square for me, so that's good. So I just have to grab it and move it to the right location. There we go. So this is the area that I want to use for my favicon. So when I'm happy, I will click the crop image button. 
And don't worry, this will not crop your original image. So my logo will not be cropped on the website. This will create a copy of the image that is cropped and the original will be unaltered. So I'll click crop image. And now you should already see your brand new favicon in the browser tab. But in order to make it stick, you have to click the publish button first. And now if I head over to my homepage, you can see my favicon is displayed in the browser tab and it's displayed site wide. So it's displayed on all sub pages as well. Now, what about block themes? Well, that's another chapter. Let me head over to the theme customizer again and remove my favicon. General settings, site identity, and I'll just click remove and publish again. So there we have my old generic fallback favicon. I'll head over to my WordPress dashboard. I'll go to appearance and now I will choose 2024, which is a block theme. And now we can see under the appearance tab that we don't have the customize link. We only have themes, which is this list of themes that are installed. And we have something called editor. So let's click editor. So you will end up here. And it's a bit cumbersome to add a favicon in a block theme. I don't know why they made such a basic functionality that complicated, but you will not find any option for it here in the left hand menu. What you have to do is start by editing the template for your site header. So I'll click there and to make sure that I'm editing the header, I'll click again and I'll click edit template. And now I'm editing the template for the header. So I'll click the site icon or sorry, the site logo to the left of my site name and I'll click edit. Okay, that didn't work so let's try again i'm clicking there to highlight the logo okay and now i'm there good so now i can upload a logo for my site so that's the first step that i have to do to be able to add a favicon so i click add media and from here i could upload for example my logo and it will be displayed to the top left corner now this will add a new option here to the right where I can choose to use the logo as my site icon or favicon. So if I would choose to do, do that, I will just click the toggle. And now I can save and I can save again. But as you could see, I didn't get the option to actually crop the favicon. For some reason, WordPress only did that in the classic themes. So now if I refresh the page, you can see that I have a favicon there, but it did just crop my logo in the middle. Well, that might work if you have a square logo from start, but if you don't have it, I'll go back here to edit the template. So I click the logo and here we have the use as site icon. Now I will disable that and you have a little hidden link here that says that you can use the site icon settings to use a different favicon than the actual site logo. So I'll click that. And now it sends me to the hidden theme customizer. So from here, we can remove this squished site icon that's based on my site logo. So let's click remove. And now I can select the site icon. And from here, I could either choose my ready-made square site icon or I can choose my logo again, but this time I will have the chance to crop it. So let's just move this cropping box and click crop image. And then I'll click publish. And once again, this will not affect the original logo. It will generate a copy for the favicon image. So now if I head back to my homepage, you can see that we have a new favicon and we have a different site logo. Now, if you don't want to go through all these steps just to find the theme customizer in the block theme, I created another tutorial where you can find the hidden theme customizer in about 10 seconds. So you can find a link to this tutorial in the description below the video. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Until next time, take care.
Thank you.